Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Good luck. So, this is a brief video, a short video about how to use SPSS for k means plus string and some of the descriptive statistics. So, SPSS stands for social, it stands for statistical package for social sciences. It is heavily used by academics, researchers, and practitioners all over the world. So if we have already some data, we can open the data from here. If we want to type a new data set, we can start or we can open a new data set here as well. Uh, this version, I have 22, as we just 22, do not have import data uh, option. So we can use open data option to open any other type of file, for example, text file, for example, Excel file, or SAS for the startup file. So we can open any type of file here as well. I uh, further, the recent files can be seen here. For example, I am using RIRIS, IRIS data set. In IRIS data set, we have uh, four columns which are numeric, showing simple length, simple width, petal length, petal width. IRIS is a type of flower. In species, there are various number of various species for iris flower. We have three species in this data set, Setosa, Versic, Versic, Kernel, and Virginica. And uh, all of these three species have 50 flowers in them. Then we can see the summary statistics for these numerical columns, four columns. You can see that mean values for all of these variables, median standard deviation, this is a summary statistics table. You can also see the frequencies, but you know they are numeric columns, so there are many, many uh, values. So we, I just removed it. And then you can also see how the mean value change or the standard deviation change from one species to spe for other species for these four columns. So I selected these four columns as dependent list and the uh, factor list showing my species. And if I click OK, it will show me how many cases in each species for each type of, uh, for each of these four variables. Then it is showing conditional uh, summary for sepal length for setosa. Sepal length for setosa mean value is 5.0. Sepal length for versicular is 5.9. So there is a difference of 5.0 and 5.9 is approximately 0 0.9. And Virginica, we have 6.5. So Virginica versus Citrusa, you see 5. And here it is 6.58. They are different from each other, quite different from each other. Simple length, you can see mean 3.42, 2.7, 2.97, very close. Petal length, 1.4, so it's very small. Versicular, 4.2, Virginica, 5.5. So you see there is a difference quite big differences between petal length of Cetusa and Virginica. So for other variables, we have this summaries. We can also see in place of numbers, we can see the box plots for species Cetusa, Versicula, and Virginica. We have three box plots for the simple length. You see they are very far from each other. And you see this is a, there is a circle showing observation number 107 from your data, from the data set, which is outlier for the Virginica for sepal length species virginica. Similarly, you can see that there is sepal width. Width for cetosa is bigger than versicular and virginica. Virginica and versicular are very similar to each other, but they are different from the cetosa, species cetosa. Similarly, you see that pet uh, petal length is quite different between all these three species. Citrus is very small with one outlier, mild outlier, observation number 23. Versicular have one possible outlier or mild outlier 99 observation, observation number 99. And Virginica have very large uh, up, up, uh, spike. So that means there is large observations as well in this data. So this is a summative view. Uh, yeah, this one is petal width. You see citrus is very different from the rest. And there is one potential outlier, observation number 44, and one mild outlier, observation number 24. So 
this is a summary summary for the data and visualization then we can go for k mean algorithm k mean technique in analyze classify and k mean cluster so it is clustering but we say it is classification as well because we have to define number of clusters here we have three clusters because we have three species if you don't know how many clusters to form you can try two three four five six or seven clusters and see which of them which of the clustering results is the best in the iterations i suppose i am using 100 iteration and i want to keep running the model unless there is no change in the mean for example iteration number 50 and iteration number 51 the mean change is zero that means the that means the centers of the clusters or the centroids of the clusters are not changing then we say stop that's a convergent convergent solution save we say save the cluster membership and distance from cluster center and if i run it it is showing me final clusters with 38 50 and 62 observations actually there should be 50 50 50 observations as per original data that means there are some observations or maybe more observations which are misclassified and this is the final clustering for this data set so we are not saying that we have uh, a, a confusion matrix in this case because these are clusters and these clusters are not representing that we have cluster one showing these values this is matching with this species one so that's why i will not match it with the with the actual one but if i go here you see species one is classified in cluster two so do you think that all the species one are classified in two maybe yes maybe no and second thing plus uh, cluster two all the observations are classified in three except few and uh, and for the three all of the observations are classified in one but not all of them so there is misclassification but because we have we cannot say that cluster two representing species two and cluster one representing species one that's why making a confusion matrix is not very useful at this point we will see classification or confusion matrix in our next algorithms. And second thing that came in clustering is very old approach. And there are many, many new approaches as well that we will see in our in our next sessions. Uh, you will see that the the Irish data set is easier to classify with the accuracy of 95% and more. So, but we have to wait for the uh, next session to see that thing. Thank you.